What's up guys, King of the North, back with some more of the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Today we head into a hard mode, Mother Run, with Bethany. Mom? Anyway, uh, this won't be as bad as Jacob and Esau, obviously. So that's a relief. Chest in there. I want to thank everybody for supporting the channel up to this point. Comments, likes, and subs are super appreciated. It's been uh, mind blowing, actually. The support uh, means a lot. Never thought, never thought we'd get support like this. Uh, but thank you all. Uh, apologize, Isaac. Content has been a little bit slower. Uh, this room full of champions is gonna gonna hurt. But hopefully, we'll get through this. Uh, but Isaac slowed down a little bit just because trying to do some other things. Uh, you know isn't only an Isaac channel. It's certainly a big part of it, but we do play a lot of other games that we like to share, so. I've uh, been doing some other stuff, obviously. Uh, this is Saturday that I'm recording this, so a lot of day will be spent on doing various recordings. Obviously, I'm doing Isaac right now. And then I have... Slay the Spire video is ready to go. I might do some Enter the Gunge. I've been struggling with that game. That the game has been kicking my ass. Uh, lost our orbital there. It's a shame. Got another one, though. Uh, yeah, that, that one's been quite brutal. Uh, I don't know if I, I'll keep recording because I, I, nobody's going to want to watch me not get dragon kills. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know how much longer I'll, I'll do recordings for that, because that's just eating up time. Almost an hour per run. But uh, also, uh, the Abyss is still on the list. Still have uh, things to do for that. Okay, got a bomb buddy here. Would have liked to have seen another key in here. Uh, but have Neon Abyss. I, I gotta get back on Returnal. Returnal's a pretty tough game, especially where I'm at right now. It's just a lot of dodging and needing to grind out stuff before I get to the area that I'm at. And that area has just chaos. It's, it's just chaos. It's actually a really nice chest. So I, I'll get some Returnal going. I would like to try some other games still. Like I, like I said, I'm not sold on the playthrough for Dungeon yet, just because, like I said, I'm not making a whole lot of progress by doing it. Uh, Darkest Dungeon uh, is is an option, I think. That would be kind of cool, I think. Uh, get a playthrough of that going, maybe. Uh, somebody requested Terraria. So... Hand and I might might do something with that. Like a co-op playthrough. We gotta figure out how we would do it though, because there's a lot of grinding in in Terraria. So we want to make sure that we're you know efficient with uh, time with that, and we're not eating up too much time recording and, and not having bad videos where we're just you know farming out uh, ores and stuff. So there's that, but uh, you know, it, most important, right, today that w what we're going to talk about is the fact that we have we have some gaming news. We had the summer game fest, right? Pretty big, pretty some pretty big announcements. I think the one that blew everybody away that was most uh, exhilarating, uh, which we were all hoping for. Obviously, we were really all hoping for this for a while. And, you know, there was a lot of rumors staring around, and we were all just hoping that it was going to be true. Please, let, let us finally get it. Uh, we've waited all this time. Stop keeping us waiting. We finally got the Stranger Things and Smite collaboration. Uh, I know everybody is just absolutely floored by that one. And, you know, it's, it's for, for a good reason, too, right? I mean, Smite, Stranger Things, come on. Uh, just kidding. I mean, I'm, I'm excited for that and anybody who plays Smite and is a fan of Stranger Things, but uh, some really cool stuff. I think the the Metal Slug Tactics game could be really cool. Uh, Death Stranding, I'm not a huge fan of. 
at least from what I saw of it, maybe it's a good game. I, I might have to give it a try and, and see what it's about. I thought a lot of people said it was a walking simulator, but I, I'm really excited for the, the Elden Ring. Uh, I have playthroughs for all the Dark Souls games, Demon Souls, Bloodborne, and Sekiro on the channel, so I'm really looking forward to doing a full playthrough for Elden Ring. And I started recording YouTube videos late, so I'm, I'll be excited to upload a playthrough for one of those when like the content's relevant. Like I did Bloodborne, uh, Dark Souls, uh, Sekiro, like all like a years after their relevancy but I, I wanted i wanted to have a playthrough for those because I, I take a lot of pride in in let's plays so it'll be exciting to you know have those but not like everybody's doing and finding stuff out and learning things and trying to like get strategies for the bosses and stuff like that nature off of each other all right we'll take that absolutely um where do we want to go here what are we doing so yeah, like that's exciting. There's a lot of other things that are expected for E3. Uh, I'm excited, but not trying to get my hopes up. There, I know there's rumors or talks of a possibility of like a Bioshock 4. That would be pretty big and exciting. I haven't played the third one yet. I gotta do that. I might do that as a stream playthrough. I have a, a lot of Bioshock fans in, in chat most of the time. But I'm excited. I'm excited for something like that. I I don't know where I, this came from, but I also heard that there's a chance that they do a, like a whole trilogy remake or something for. Oh, get a card generator here. I do like having the bombs. To be honest with you. I feel like the cards could go a longer way than use a bomb. Ace of spades, yeah. Take that. Is there a charge left on this? There is. Uh, yeah, so obviously E3 news. Uh, I think I think we'll get a Halo Infinite. Uh, official release for that. Uh, I'm I'm a Halo fan. I, I enjoy the games. I do I do like some sh some shooters, and that that's one of them. But there's that. There's obviously you know we're hoping for something from the Bethesda, like something in regards to maybe like a other uh, Elder Scrolls. There's some other things. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. So Nintendo, uh, you know, I've had my heart broken many times for hopes for something from, you know, Elden Ring or whatever. Is this finally the E3 where we hear something for a Metroid game on the Switch? There was like initial talks like a while back for having a Metroid game and they, they were they're were making a new Metroid game and then like there's I heard something where like they were like oh yeah the developers like weren't happy with what was being produced for it or whatever and they tossed it or scrapped it I don't know um, I really don't know what's what's truth at this point anymore with that uh, but I'm hoping because you know we did hear something on Elden Ring. Let's hear something on Metroid, too. I guess we'll take them. I guess we'll take them. We do need to make sure we go down to Downport Dross here. Let's go. So, yeah, like there's different some different possibilities. I would love to see Metroid at this point. I, any other dream things that I, I would like to see? If you guys are expecting something or hope to see something, or if you're watching this after you've seen E3, tell me what you guys want or what you're excited for. Um, and anything that maybe you'd like to see a playthrough of, um, I, you know, feel free to throw it in the comments. But uh, yeah, it's always it's it's an exciting time of year I think with with E3. So I'm pumped for it. 
but yeah, I'd like to see something on Halo Infinite. I'd like to see Metroid. Another Hangman card. Um, obviously some PlayStation news would be kind of cool, I guess, as well, with some of the various games that they have. But I think we, we got a lot of news on that with God of War and Robo Dinosaurs. So I, I don't expect too much more from them. Obviously, they, they could have a couple things up their sleeve. They usually do. They usually do. Uh, so I'm, I'm hopeful on that front. I can't believe I get hit there. And obviously Microsoft will buy somebody else too. Yeah, I'm sure that'll be news. But I, we'd like to hear something on. What's this? We'd like to hear something on the new consoles and what Microsoft and Sony are planning to do to start making sure that uh, consumers can get products rather than scalpers. Because uh, at this point, it's it's a bit ridiculous. I know there's people out there that stick up for the scalpers and stuff like that. Um, I don't know why. <clears throat> I, I, I think there's a different level of, you know, having something that somebody wants and having bots that buy up inventory. I think there's two different things there. Where's that Hangman card at? I think there's two different philosophies there that people need to differentiate. But, you know, I'd like to see them announce something. I, I know that ultimately, in terms of production, uh, Sony and Microsoft are are limited by the processor chips, so there's not a whole lot they can do on that front. But I'd like to see some sort of like a rollout plan and strategy. Because here's the thing: ultimately, these these companies put out new consoles, right? And they they want to sell these consoles so they can get more titles. Uh, on on their new consoles because the thing is as a developer doesn't want to produce games for a console if it's not going to sell those copies so the thing is, is developers are not going to want to put games out on these new consoles uh, obviously the consoles are popular and people want them but the problem is is the fact that nobody can get them because their inventory is tied up on uh, eBay, because somebody has a, a bot that was able to purchase, you know, uh, X amount of consoles in instant time because somebody else was screwing around in the checkout lane. You know what I'm saying? So uh, ultimately, there is some. Oh, well, we can get the Jesus fish here. I want to go with this just because it does give us a flat damage increase uh, if we have full hearts. Uh, so, you know, ultimately, Microsoft and Sony need to do something, right? The question is what? And, you know, on, they could put their foot down with the eBay stuff. They, they really could. Uh, they probably won't, but I know Sony has the Sony Directs where they sell consoles and stuff like that. And, and Microsoft has different things that they do. But I, I feel like they need to mention something about console accessibility. But uh, obviously, I think that, you know, there's always there's always games that we're, we're hoping for. I'm just uh, what I'm hoping, what I'm always excited for is, is, is surprise announcements like, I, you know, like, like I said, I, I, I'd love to see a Metroid, some Halo Infinite news, anything like I'm always excited for that stuff. But what what really is exhilarating, though, is the surprise announcements like something that like nobody was talking about or nobody ever heard about and then bam we have like a new uh, roguelike or something like that like that's that's the stuff like I always keep an eye out for 
and some people are different. Somebody, somebody, some people like to go for like the hype games. They're excited for Call of Duty news. Which is that ever news? It's it's always the same. <laughs> it's always the same thing. But uh, I, I won't I won't knock on the Call of Duty fandom too much. Just a little bit. But yeah, uh, it's it's an exciting time. So definitely drop your thoughts on what you'd like to see on E3 or you know what you're most excited about if you you know you're watching this video later and this is obviously 2021 so if for some reason this video takes off because of algorithm things uh this is this is the year we're talking about but yeah i'll uh, i'll definitely have follow-up yes. videos and stuff like that as to you know give everyone my uh, my take and the yes. justice card Devil. Uh, we're gonna take this with us. Ace of clubs. Um, this will probably be a good room for it. I mean, we're doing enough damage, and I probably should have saved it for the next floor, but I, I don't want to leave cards behind because I'm trying to hold on to that. Gotta let things move freely. What is it with item rooms anymore, man? Or did they just, like, delete all the good ones? They use reverse tainted loss coding or something. Let's see if we can get a black heart in here to add to our charges and stuff. Strength. All right, so strength is good. Strength isn't bad. Uh, obviously, things are going to pop in my head about E3 while I'm probably doing this, and I'll bring them up as they come along. It's just there's there's a lot out there. I think that we're all hoping for. It's a chance to be an exciting year, and right, hopefully that's going to be the case. So, as long as we don't take any hits here, uh, the crown is the crown will carry us for the most part. We have 13 keys, thanks to a card we had by this heart. Can bomb the shopkeeper to increase our chances and I'll do that because we have a ton of bombs thanks to the ace of clubs card avoid the donation machine we're doing okay money wise don't need to have any of that going on um do 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 I kind of want these coins. I've right, got most of them out. That was a luck up. That was a good one to get. Let's do this boss in hopes that we can not take a hit here and possibly pull off another miraculous angel deal. Oh, God. I was actually afraid of Plum there, our own little Plum. I was like, oh man, got something shooting across this. Oh wow, we got another angel deal. Let's, let's go. Okay, um. I kind of want flight. I got to be honest with you, I kind of want flight here. I know this is a tears up, but if we can get flight, I think it might help us more in the long run. I can't remember if that if that was going to be Eden Soul or um, Star of Bethlehem. I know they're very similar. I couldn't remember what it was off the top of my head. I apologize if I picked uh, the wrong one. But we can get this coin now. Most importantly, I know we were all super concerned about that. So let's donate here and hopefully get a heart container out of this thing. There's, there's hearts laying around, so I'm going to go grab those. A full heart and a half heart here. Uh, and I'll come back, actually, I think. Let's clear up the floor and, and make sure I'm not going to need those. I have a devastating room against a couple uh, shooting mushrooms or something. I hope that wouldn't happen. <laughs> Uh, what card was this? Oh, the strength card. Gonna hold on to the horn. 
sense and get rid of that for some petrified turds, even though we have a, a shit fetish of digging through crap in hopes to find gold. Keep rolling. Alright, we got ourselves a sloth fight here. Thanks to the flight, we can just kind of hang over here. Ah, uh, never mind, it's over. Pepper card. We'll hold on to the strength card. Got plenty of bombs to check for secret rooms. Found it. Alright, we got more bombs. Should spend this wheel of fortune. I'm gonna pass on the wheel of fortune. We could use that for hearts, I guess, but I think we can get through this. Don't be a stingy blood donation machine, please. We really don't want to use up all these hearts and not get something out of this. Wow. It's gonna it's gonna do it to us, guys. It's gonna it's gonna get us. It's gonna be like, nope, sorry. Couldn't do that. Can we get some hearts out of this, maybe? Should have popped in the other room, I know. There we go, got a heart. Half a heart. Which that half a heart might might get us our upgrade. We have one luck. I think that contributes to payouts here. What the hell was that? Oh, did it give me a bomb or something? I think it ate up one of my orbitals. What is this? Rules card? God. Can you imagine that would be in like a winner somewhere? What is eating up? Winning winning something, and then they're like, here is the rules manual out of Monopoly. Devastating. Well, I, you know, I really just wanted to see if it would really eat up all my coins, and it did. It, it, it just, it ate them all up. Ate up all my coins. Greedy bastard. All right. Uh, let's bomb this for being... Jerk. Got some of our money back. Where did the rest of our money go? Right? We gave it 40 coins, you blow it up and give you three. Where did it go? Why isn't this like... Grand Theft Auto where you can take a lady of the evening to your car, do what you want, and then get your money back afterwards. I'm not going to say exactly what I'm talking about. Is there a heart in here? Got more bombs. Wow. So, oh, there's a heart in here. Play this, right? Play this. Let's go. Took long enough. Certainly took long enough. We also get a, you know, we get a heart container. We also get a speed up from that. There's a strength card somewhere. I'm not going back for it. I, I don't really care. <laughs> All right, so we're in Ash Pit. We're in the second one. So we need to make sure we get our get our knife piece here. Also, just pulling up some some rumors for E3. Uh, obviously, Halo Infinite is a big one. Starfield uh, possibly confirmed as an exclusive on the Xbox would be. Pretty big, I guess. Uh, if you're interested in that game, I think I think a lot of people will. Uh, Biofock, uh, Biofock, 
Bioshock 4 possibly getting announced uh, is pretty big news too. I think uh, everybody, most people would love that. We'll pop the world card here. Oh yeah, Bethesda doing an Indiana Jones game. That might get some, some footage released. I think that would be kind of exciting. I think people would like that as well. Uh, also, the one the one game I have mixed feelings on is uh, Blank Room. Uh, no, that's not what I have mixed feelings on. Is the whole thing going on with Final Fantasy VII Remake? I played Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I have a I have a playthrough on the channel for it. Uh, it was a good game. Uh, the, the remake, you know, but the thing is, it's part one of four. Uh, let's be honest with you. I think that's kind of messed up. Because here's the thing. Uh, one, I know, I know they added stuff. I know it's upgraded and stuff like that. But it's one game that's going to be extended over four releases. And... Most people are probably like, oh, who cares? It's a good game or whatever. But the thing is, is especially if we're increasing the price again to, what, $70? That's PlayStation making, uh, essentially making one game or, you know, signing for one game. That's, you're going to pay, what? Uh, 200 or two to $300 on to enjoy the experience and I, I'm sure what happens later is you know when the final version releases for uh, the Resident Evil 7 remake so when they're at part 4 you'll be able to buy a package deal that's only only a hundred dollars to play the whole experience in one sitting and here's the other thing too Do they keep releasing the other parts of Resident Evil 7 Remake on the PlayStation 4 so people can keep playing it? Or are you going to tie people down to needing to have a PlayStation 5 to play the third or fourth installation? I think that's something that's got to be uh, looked at as well. To me, that seems unfair, but I, I'm sure that's what they're going to do. So I, I think that's a big mess, but I, I'm sure this E3, we're going to get an announcement on on that. I think we can mark that down as, as a total 100% possibility. Uh, Breath of the Wild 2, that's a, that's a big possibility. Uh, there's, there's definitely talks of that going on for sure. Uh, I never played the first one, but uh, I know I know a lot of people would be into, you know, a second version or uh, part two of, of Breath of the Wild. Uh, Nintendo Switch Pro, I think we'll definitely hear something on that. There's been leaks on possible price points, uh, what it looks like. So I think that'll definitely be a a real thing, I think that'll happen. <laughs> this one's a long shot. This is right up there with the hopes of a Metroid game finally coming out. Uh, Mother 3 being released on the Switch. I think that would be awesome. I would love just a remake for uh, Earthbound, to be honest with you. But I, I will take a, a Mother 3. Uh, not this Mother, but Mother 3 from uh, Nintendo. I think that would be, I think that'd be good. It, it's just one of those amazing old school JRPGs. Uh, I've, I've wanted to, I've wanted to do an, an Earthbound playthrough Let's Play for a while. I just haven't had the time for it. I do have the SNES Classic that I could easily hook up and just, you know, do something with that real quick. Good timing on that, I think. That, that spikes there. 
Go back for the penny. You always go back for the penny. Right, we got through that without taking any damage. Not bad. We got a justice card. Right, we got a moon. We can go to the sitting room for free on the next floor, which might be helpful. We'll, uh, we'll keep this moving along, I guess. But we could check out the the curse room. There's plenty of hearts around, so we might as well check it. It's filled with pills. All right. We could take blank rune with us. I'll just use it now in case something happened. That was incredible. It made itself again. All right. Pick up my heart, and we gotta make sure we go through the mausoleum here. Devil card. I completely went the wrong way. We do have a super secret room, though, so we must have gotten uh, Ansys there on that blank room. Check it out. See what we got. What you got for us? Sun card. Yeah, we'll do the sun card, actually. We got plenty of bombs, and this will reveal the secret room anyway. Go on down to the mausoleum. This should be a quick, easy clean here. Got a soul heart. All right, we have flight, so this makes this easy. I am gonna use the sun card. I, I didn't forget it. I'm just trying to make sure I have it in a room that's gonna help a lot, like this very large room here. So now we can see we don't have to worry about Curse of Darkness. So we got you this time, game. We got you this time. Hmm. Do we get a ton of hearts on this floor? I also want to skip as much of this floor as possible. It's not Gahina, but it's still pretty bad, right? Um, what do we have here? Oh, ghosty. Ghost face. Die, please. All right. At least the spikes went away. We got a shop. We also got another sun card. We'll use it in this room. And we get a black card. There we go. We're getting a nice uh, charge build up here. Uh, what I've been doing is hoping that I can build up a large number of cards and possibly use them in the mother fight. Um, the Plopi is interesting. Uh, it's very unlikely that we get a deal here because I did take a hit already. What is this going to be? Mausoleum 1. All right, so let's take the Plopia. We're going to take it. And I'm going to pick it up before I do the boss yeah, in hopes that we get, you know, maybe another heart container. We, we definitely need heart containers. Uh, that's not something I've been talking about and rambling about. Uh, hopes and dreams of different games that aren't going to be announced at E3. But uh, we would like to start seeing some more health here, uh, mainly because I'm not very good at the mother fight yet. So if we get like two breakfasts here, I, I wouldn't be too upset over it. lost our damage buff here. We got a card. It's not going to help us here. We have the speed to manage that uh, dodge there, at least. I can't believe I actually got hit by that. And this was not... not what the doctor ordered. 
We got the Mother Transformation, guys. I know some people in the comments are a huge fan of the Mother Transformation. They love that butt knife. Uh, I'm sure it's it saved them on many runs, uh, but it hasn't done a whole lot for me, and that's, uh, you know, that happens sometimes. Let's go to hold on to the Floppy here. We are going to take it to the item room. Piece of hearts here. Okay, we got, we got some more jerks who want to pick things up behind us to hit, them with, hit us with it and then hit us with it again when they throw it in our face. Yikes. All right. Uh, I, I want to bring the car generator with me. <clears throat> okay. Um, we're going to go pick up the car generator again. There's not enough hearts on the floor, right? Like, definitely not. That's... Oh, no. That's just a donation thing. Uh, I'm going to have to blow this up so I can get that nickel. Uh, perhaps the shop comes in handy on the next floor. Who knows? Uh, so, Diplopia, absolute waste, sadly. We should check this out still. Now we'll leave. All right. Uh, there's some hearts on the ground. We might be able to get back to full HP. I probably should have played that instead of wasting my time with the donation machine. Uh, there's a half. All right. You know what? We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to clear in hopes that we get some hearts here. The only reason I'm doing this is because we, we have a strong build. And I, I, I'm somewhat tempted to use the Ace of Hearts in a room here. It has enemies in it. So we can possibly play that beggar. I should have... Oh, boy. Um, should have saved this... Rotten Heart for the next floor. I got lost. Wasn't looking for this guy here. Uh, high Priestess, no thanks. Oh, actually, it's gonna skip. It's gonna skip that. Alright, so that's not bad. I prefer that. There's an Eternal Heart in there, at least. Ooh. One more heart. All right, and that's going to be it. We're going to have to move on. Probably would have been a lot better off. I think we'd still do this, right? The resistance. Okay, we got damage up. All right, we, we got that to work. Uh, we we did lose a lot of hearts, though. Did lose a lot of hearts. Heart is this? Death. All right, we'll take that. Make sure we pick this up. This was a world card. Probably should use this on the next floor, in all honesty. I got Curse of Darkness again. Brick. Um, we have a long way to go. Might as well head off to the left here. I'm gonna avoid that. Hopefully, this is not a bedroom filled with urine. Filled with pee. Filled with pee. 
Um, we have okay damage. Trying to think of how I could have gone into that secret room and made use of it, but we'll be alright, I guess. Does this work on like an exist? Uh, let's clear out the room first. I don't need to get that bold, I guess, with not having extra damage. Alright, so we're gonna get some parts. Let's see if this. I gotta make sure I picked up the horn. I'm gonna have to go with the blind item. Why are. What is with the item rooms? All right, so sorry, Mike was muted for a little bit there, I think. Uh, and also, I'm not 
thrilled with this room. I guess we'll take this. This will do damage to enemies inside the light. Would have loved to have seen something a little bit more impactful there. We'll go take on uh, It Lives or Mob Party. All right, we locked all Wisp Baby. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, hi, did you want to give me... Oh, okay. Head on down. All right. Okay, not Curse of Darkness this time. Thank you. We have no idea where we're going. Could generate like a world card, I guess, but got a heart. A little bit of lag there. Who is up here? Oh, it's this thing. There's two of them. I forgot. I was trying to wait for the poison to clear. All right, so got a higher fan card. No sense in holding on to that. Uh, sun card. Perfect. We we'll use that in the next room with combat. Next room with combat. Alright, so I was heading the wrong direction. What do we have here? Hanged Man. Perfect card for when you have void. Got a soul heart. Uh, these are just gonna activate those. Alright. Chaos card. Sorry, I wanted to make sure that that would work in the mother fight. Uh, allegedly, it, it will kill one phase. Uh, one phase of mother fight. So, we can go in there. Kill mother phase one. And that might be our best bet because that's probably the fight that phase of the fight where I'm going to take damage and lose the crown if I don't already lose it before then. Skip this corner by going through the secret room here. Hearts are very nice. Oh, that was scary. Uh, let's not leave this behind. All right, um, full card, temper, ow. I'm just trying to see if I can get something to help me in this boss fight. There we go. Oh, thought it was dead. Jesus. It's squeezy. It tears up. Make sure we bring the chaos card with us. And I think that's I think that's it. I think we're good. We can just head on down to the next floor. We can pray and hope for a world card, I guess, right? Devil, we'll use that in this room. Oh, there he is. All right, and then judgment. Judgment. Not the judgment we were hoping for. Oh, uh, I don't want to use too many of these because I can use. I could still use the card generator in Mother Five. I was just kind of hoping that I could get something to reveal the map for me so I can make it a more direct path. Where is... Oh, just that right there. Alright, so there's some hearts in here, which is good to see.
Get away from that. Keep going here. Magician. 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 Oh, we found the um found the mother fight. Alright. Perfect. Alright, let's let's do this thing, guys. Alright, Chaos Card ended that swiftly. Gotta make sure I do my best to not take damage here. Alright, so it took damage, so that's unfortunate. We're gonna lose out on our huge DPS increase. Hierophant. Strike card, let's go. Justice card, that's not going to do a whole lot for us. Give us another heart in the room, I guess. Can I block with it? I can't. I got to watch out for the temperance machine now. We'll try to blow that up. Oh, we got another heart, but we, we'd have to leave the room and come back for it to make any sense. I Priestess, let's go. Mom stepping on mother, and that's how it ends, baby. <laughs> all right it was a good run it was a fun run we talked gaming news be sure to tell me what you guys think uh with e3 coming up what are you uh I, i'm expecting a lot but I, I think in the end whatever comes up i think we're all going to be really happy about something hopefully but uh that's gonna do it for me guys check out the other stuff on the channel we got a lot going on and there's a lot more to come still so feel free to like comment subscribe and i'll see you all on future runs on the floors down below. Peace.